Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Replay Shadow of the Colossus with me, Oxfu. Ah, of course I had to show this cutscene again. Who is this guy hovering over us? Looks sort of like a shadow? Wait a minute, it couldn't be... Nah, that mu it must just be a coincidence. Alright, come on, Wander, let's get up. Not gonna get much done lying down now, are we? Come on, you only got hit by... What? A billion little black tentacles? It's not too big of a deal, you're... You're ready to go again? Come on, we gotta save the princess. I mean, we gotta save the princess in any game. Oh god, earthquake! Quick wander, grab the princess, and run! Oh wait, it's just the statues. There we go, there's Valis's statue, and we are ready to move on to the next Colossus. So let's go! Oh wait, we still have to hear the hint again. Raise thy courage. Are you saying that I had didn't have to use my courage at all to fight that last Colossus? I can't believe this. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. That's it. I can't stand that kind of... That kind of ungratefulness. Anyhow, let's go. Let's... Let's go wander. Let's go... Wander! <laughs> ah, so... Now you will see that on the map, well, we have revealed a bit of the map, but you can also see where Valis is now. Or where he was. So, same song and dance as before. Raise your sword, wave it around a little bit in the light, and see where we have to go. Alright, so now we know which way our adventure lies in. Let's throw caution to the wind and go! So, like we were just told, these little shrines will allow us to recover health, like the little bit that we just lost from jumping off of the wall like that. There are also little save points, so if I can just get in the right place to pray, there we go. But we're not going to save because we just did. <laughs> Maybe use them for some of the late later colossi because the treks start to get a little longer, but right now we're good. Just right off, and headed that way. Do whichever direction that is. Do bridge, bridge-wise. <laughs> ah, now we get to see some of the absolutely stunning landscape of this game. You can actually get on top of aggro and jump on those birds too. I've never been able to do it, but <laughs> look at this. This is oh my god, this is amazing. Absolutely sublime. Just the scope and depth of the world they create in this game. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's absolutely stunning. So, a seaside cave. That's what we're looking for, eh? Well, we found one. <laughs> I wonder what, what terrors lurk inside of it. What beast we shall be fighting next. Well, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> I love, I, I do love the music, it's just that sometimes it starts a little too soon. Because, like, 
building up this crescendo of tension, and it's like, we're riding down a seaside cliff. Oh, so your sword will not work in the shade, by the way. You do need light to sort of use it. It works sometimes to a certain amount, like that. But for the most part, you're going to want to use it in the sun. And here we have, in a second... Right here, the second Colossus. Welcome, Quadratus. Now just like Ballas, this is a pretty easy Colossus. I mean, he is the second Colossus in the game, so they don't want to give the players too much of a challenge. There are multiple ways to approach him, just like Ballas, except it's a lot... it's... A lot easier. Now as you'll see there are little areas on his feet that you can that are you know shining can't be weak spots I mean whoever heard of a weak spot being a different color than the rest of the body it's gonna wait for him to pop up like that but we're gonna miss of course there we go now you can either shoot you can either climb up his back haunches or his front haunches, depending on which of his feet he sh you shoot. I tried the I tried the first one, or the front first, but it is a lot harder to get on to the front of him, just because you only have these small ledges that you can get up, and it he kind of got a shimmy across across his back to get up. It's a lot easier to just go by the back haunches, and I believe I fall off pretty quickly. So, yeah, there, oh, maybe. Okay, Wander, you got it. You get. You, you know what you're doing. Nope, nope, okay. <laughs> Time to try another strategy, shall we? You just gotta wait for him to show his feet. Sometimes takes a while, but eventually he will start stomping around you because he is quite an aggressive Colossus. Uh, I mean, compared to Valus, he's quite aggressive because Valus will just go walking around the place. This guy will actually come after you to a certain extent. And up his butt to the ridges on his backs. He must be half Klingon. <laughs> And they must all be half Klingon because of the ridges. And this is really his main defense, <laughs> the ridges. And he'll shake his back, try to knock you off, but really this guy is, again, pretty easy. I mean, his back is completely covered with fur, so there's no real... There, there's no real threat of being thrown off when he does this. It's just hold R1 and wait. <laughs> There are two sigils on this guy. There's one at the front of his head, this one we've got here, and there's one on his butt. Usually, you'd want to go for the one on his butt first, but I don't know, I, I just get in the habit of going after the one on the heads first. I think you can also fall down and just be on his face. <laughs> I mean, after all, it, he does have quite the ledge of a jaw, so... I'm not sure, I, I'm not really a fan of Quadratus. Uh, I mean, yeah, I understand that he's an early Colossi, so he has to be, he has to be simple. He has, he's an early Colossus, so he has to be simple. An early one of the Colossi. <laughs> I'm gonna keep messing that up, just like I did in the original Let's Play. But, I don't know, he seems a little too simple, even compared to Valis. Because it's just... In Dallas, he actually had to find out that he had a weak spot on the back of his knee and get him to go down. This guy, there's absolutely, well, I say absolutely, there's pretty much no way you can miss the weak spots on the bottom of his hooves, because you see him right away. I don't know, it, it, he's very easy to dodge as well. Valus at least had the club attacks. And... This guy just isn't very noteworthy. <laughs> I 
But even if he isn't really that noteworthy of a Colossus, he's still a Colossus, and even for being the least interesting of the bunch, he's still a fantastic enemy to fight. Anyway, let's get this business finished, shall we? Just a few more stabs and we'll be ready to go. On to the next one. Leave this guy well behind in our memory. And there we go. Second Colossi, second of the Colossi down. Quadratus is defeated. Quadratus has fallen. Oh, I do love the animations that they have in this too, because each each Colossus, I believe, has its own unique ragdoll physics. So they they all fall differently, but they all they all fall differently depending on where you are as well. Almost got aggro. Maybe I could have gotten away that time. Man, this can't be good for my body. Oh good, we're back. Ugh. Wait a minute, there are two shadows now. So, and two colossi that have been destroyed. Could those be the shadows of the colossus? Hmm. Nah, it's, I, I, nah, it's gotta be a coincidence. It can't be, it can't be as simple as that. So we'll fight him next time on Let's Replay Shadow of the Colossus with Mio Xfu. See you guys next time. Take it easy.